and we're off. Okay, this is the best of both worlds. <laughs> My coach. There she is. She couldn't make our training session today, but she said I could still use the gym. So I get to come and do an easy workout and still get the guilt-free satisfaction of checking it off in my journal. Let's do the thing and then go have a late breakfast, brunch, I guess. Such a good day. Okay, if you haven't watched Heather talk about the zombie apocalypse while on a stationary bike, have you really lived? Oh, that's me. I sent it to my coach so she knows here. Other way. Also got through Greg and Joel. <clears throat> August wrap up while finishing my workout. And I'm pretty proud. Like, my coach would be proud. <laughs> I went 50 minutes. Normally we do it like an hour and 10, so that's, that's solid. And now I get to walk home in a little rain shower. So that should cool me off. Happy day. How was the workout? Pretty good. Got grocery haul part one. Let's see. Tissues. Cool. Lemons. Bananas. Crabapples and dragon fruit. Ooh, real apples. Peppers, cucumbers, tomato. Brent's into ginger. He eats it raw. <laughs> and a watermelon. in the stream. Okay, next up for Shorty September. Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long for this one. I have these in ascending order of page count, so. Oh, fun times ahead. Whoa, I got this one in Spain. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got a present. Oh, so good. Grocery haul number two. Laundry detergent. And bread. Not for me. Avocados. Is that Perrier? Perrier. And, oh, eggies. And more seltzer water. Or mineral water, or whatever. Sparkling canned water, whatever. Fake beer. Fake beer. <laughs> oh, number one boyfriend. Hello, friends. Grocery haul number three. Butter, cheese, and tuna. Okay, I'm having a glorious lay flat day. And I don't even have to feel guilty about it because I went to the gym. Anyway, I am 85 pages into Piranesi by Susanna Clark. It's about a third of the way through. It is nothing, nothing at all what I imagined it would be. For some reason, this cover led me to believe it was 
you know, a little, I don't know, mythological creatures, you know, little fawns and minotaurs and whatnot. building that is open to the elements like the clouds and the water and but 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 they never leave it there, there's no nature like forests or whatnot there's the ocean and so there's ocean animals and birds five or six years. He doesn't remember anything outside of this strange world that he's in. And, you know, this building is full of statues. Like, there are statues everywhere of all sorts of peoples. And, you know, a few other beings like the Minotaurs and the Little Fawn. Uh, a few animals. There's all, stat all statues. It's just pure Nessie and this other. And then you kind of realize that, that the other, he, he's probably got access to the outside world. Like the outside world still exists because, you know, you kind of get clues to that. But our little guy, Piranesi, who he's not a little guy, he's a grown man. Uh, but he's got a childlike innocence about him, but he thinks he's a scientist. But is he? Like... <laughs> He's not researching. I don't know. He's not clued into the fact that there's something weird going on. So, I don't know. But maybe he's starting to figure it out. Because, yeah, there have been a couple clues. I don't know. It's just really, it's just really weird. It's like not what I thought it would be. It reads super fast. Um, so, anyway, I can you post it? It's interesting. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I think I'm going to take a break and watch some booktube while working on my um, little journal. Like, because Piranesi, he has journals too. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a sea of grass. Pink things are looking cute too. Going to get my hair done. And I don't have to go to the gym tomorrow. So it's going to look cute until Tuesday afternoon. Yay! It's the most exciting day. Days of kitchen. It's so <laughs> good. Oh, so cute. Good morning. Hello, cute hair. So this costs like I had a mini facial. Uh, hair wash and scalp massage and a blow dry for $12 yes and it's like the most relaxing hour amazing anyway ready to go to work another work week um, and I am two-thirds of the way through Pure Nessie by Susanna Clark and I'm not sure what I think <laughs> so it's definitely like not anything what I expected and not in a bad way. It's been very readable. Like I'm reading it quickly and it's engrossing. So that's good. Um, but also not in a good way. Like I'm not like, wow, this is so good. This is amazing. No. Like, it's good. I don't 
know. The jury's still out. It could really, you know, end, end with a bang. I don't know. I just really, yeah. Yeah, it's readable. It's enjoyable. It's entertaining. So that's good. Okay. Okay, it's good. Gotta go to work. Perhaps that is what it is like being with other people. Perhaps even people you like and admire immensely can make you see the world in ways you would rather not. Perhaps that is what Raphael means. Little birdie. Okay, I'm gonna go with that was really good. Especially since I read it at work. <laughs> just a few minutes after the start of the day, but you know, I was right at the end and I had to finish. Um, it's kind of about the duality of needing people and not needing people. I liked it. Solid four stars. Oh, and thanks so much for watching because I got to start a new one. Bye.